you alone, my father. You alone are my family. You alone, my friend. You alone are my knowledge. You alone, my wealth. You are everything to me, O Lord of Lords. You alone. Good morning. Let's start with the chanting session. As we know by now, the chanting is not just men repeating words. Although it can be, and it's but I mean, if we can't do it with mindfulness, it's okay if we do it without it. And yet, as any breath we take with full consciousness, with our attention, we know the quality of that breath. And similarly, when we chant, in the beginning, even for maybe just five minutes a day, and our attention is on the chant, on the mantra, on the jab. It really has the power to change things. Just in gathering ourselves before we start with the chanting, easily done with the focus on our breath, following three full breaths, all the way in, all the way out. So let's begin by chanting Om as we mostly do, taking long deep breath in and then when we exhale we chant Om. So we'll do the regular chanting three times and three times we'll break it into A, O and M. So taking our time with full attention and relaxation, sitting up straight, breathing in. Oh. Paying attention to the vibration of the giant. And in the breath. Oh. And the breath. Oh. Uh -huh. 
with this long breath i'll break om into the three parts a o and ma taking a long deep breath in a o ma feeling the vibration in my body the coming conscious that what a single chant a single mantra said single time with attention by vibrations it has the capacity to produce inside of me another long breath in ah om last time with long deep breath a Let's now chant Astoma. This beautiful prayer of invoking light and consciousness. Oh, Astoma. sad gamaya tam soma jyotir kamaya mrityo ma amritam gamaya Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So invoking Mother's presence, when we are in gathered right now, dream that the divine, the cosmos, guides us from the false to the truth from darkness to the light and from identification of that which dies in me to the one in me that is immortal So I'm sharing the first chant, which is Om Shanti Om. If you are unable to hear it, kindly unmute and let me know. So I'll just start. you can hear it
taking our time and remembering to pay can chant this chant with our full attention like the peace of the world depends on the quality on the way i am able to chant
we all want peace and chanting or calling peace is a very realistic way of getting more peace inside of me we'll have to do it to know the power of the word shanti or peace any time we are feeling agitated or restless and we chant this mantra or just simply call peace in the body just peace 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 we see the difference within and around us Sri Aurobindo has said that peace is the first condition without which nothing else can be stable. Shanti. Peace is the first to come unless the whole instrument becomes full of peace. It is difficult for the knowledge to descend. Once peace is established, the vast, infinite consciousness of the mother manifests itself. The ego is drowned in it and finally disappears without leaving any trace. In that infinity only, the mother and her eternal portions are left. So that was Om Shanti Om. Beautiful mantra to stabilize on ourselves. Since nothing much, and I've already said enough on Om Shanti Om, we proceed to the next mantra of the day. We have chanted it two times before. I'll screen share. Pramit Mata Satipat. Uh, recording it present has it meaning with it you alone my father you alone are my family you alone my friend you alone are my knowledge you alone my wealth you are everything to me O oh Lord of Lords, you alone. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhus Chasakha Dravinam 
We have heard this chant often. And yet, have we truly reflected on the meaning of this? The mother also says that depend only on the divine. Only, only on the divine. And yet, I surround myself with so many. And it's okay, it's a journey. And yet, reminding myself again and again that he alone is my mother, he alone is my father, he alone is my friend, he alone is my education, my knowledge, my wealth. He is everything to me. And because he lives in me, this increases my love to myself, my belief in myself. And I find myself more centered, more solid, more grounded when I hear this chant. I might not need anyone, but still I do. This is a beautiful reminder that although I'm surrounded, I love to be surrounded with so many, and yet, and you live in them anyways, and yet, you are the one who's everything to me. So proceeding to the last chant of today, reading something from the mother before I move to that. The mother says that naturally men create difficulties. I think they must love them because for everything, the slightest thing, there is always a world of difficulties. So you spend your time saying, quiet, 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 be quiet. Even the body lives in difficulties. It too seems to love them. But all of a sudden, the cells chant their own spontaneously. Then there is a sort of childlike joy in all those cells which say, Mother says this in a tone of wonder, Oh really, we can do that? We are allowed to do that. It's touching. And the result is immediate. That great, peaceful, all-powerful vibration as for me, Mother says, if I weren't under the constant pressure of all the wills around me, I would say, but why do you want to know what the divine is? What does it matter to you? Just become the divine. But they don't know how to take a joke. I want to know what the divine is. But no, it's perfectly useless, they say. Oh, they answer with a shocked look. Oh, is it not interesting? Mother says, you don't need to know what the divine is. You must become it. So ending here. So she here, she was talking about how chanting Om changes the dynamic and how through Nam Japa, Nam Japa, we can change, we can transform our restless, our difficulties, our diseases. We can, you know, instill peace in them and the transformation happens. 
ending with a beautiful chant of Om Ma Om. Remembering to be fully present when we are chanting. And if we see our attention going somewhere else, we come back to the chant as soon as we can. Taking a long deep breath in, centering ourselves and beginning this chant of Om Maam. Assuming you can hear it, if not, please let me know. Uh, we can't hear it, Taru. Um, uh, Is it audible now? Yes.
So when we chant, when we are sitting for a meditation, in addition to seeing these disturbances, these distractions, this boredom that we can often feel, in addition to coming back to the breath, we must look at the thought and as in where does it come from? Why do I get bored so easily? Why is the divine's name not the most beautiful thing in the world for me to sit with, to chant, to feel inside of me? Along with chanting and mindfulness, let me aspire and pray that these distractions fall away and I become more at peace, more calm, more stillness. And in this stillness, may I become the chant that I chant. Before we end, taking a minute to thank Grace for the ability and the grace to attend this session, any session that takes me more towards the divine, the Sangat that helps us walk together. And let's pray for true well-being, true happiness, true peace for everyone in the cosmos. May everyone be truly at peace, truly well, and truly happy. Thank you.